Joining me now, the man who sued the NSA for its mass surveillance program under President Obama, and he won. He is attorney Larry Klayman. Good to see you, Larry. Liz, good to see you, too. Larry, do you agree that this is a constitutional crisis right now, politicians spying oh. on political opponents? Absolutely. My good friend Ben Stein obviously read the court's decision. You know, he's a lawyer as well. He went to Yale. And the judge found that what was going on when he ruled in our favor was, quote, almost Orwellian, of a, reminiscent of a police state. This is a major Watergate. If Watergate was something, this is super Watergate, in effect. Because what happened here is by wiretapping Paul Manafort, the campaign chairman for Trump, they were wiretapping Trump because Trump was obviously yeah. talking to him. And therefore, there were clear lies told not just in the media, but as we know way back when, when uh, Clapper made the statement under oath to Senator Wyden of the Senate Intelligence Committee that there was no mass surveillance. That's when Snowden came out and revealed there was, and we brought our case a few days later. You know, at least a half a dozen people from the Trump campaign, including President Trump, Jared Kushner, and Jeff Sessions, were talked about as being surveilled upon, but they were incidentally surveilled on. In other words, it was played down like it was not that big of a deal. But, you know, now we're seeing serious wiretap allegations. And remember, the media called this fake news instead of investigating the story. Let's take a listen. It's been a full three days since the president said that President Obama had his wires tapped, his phones tapped at Trump Tower. In those three days, has the White House come up with any evidence whatsoever to prove that allegation? Yeah, I, I addressed this multiple times yesterday. Just one quick follow-up yeah. on Jonathan Carl's question, because the president made a very serious allegation over the weekend. Where is the evidence, where is the proof that President Obama bugged President Trump? Well, I, I answered this question yesterday on camera, on your air. So to follow up on the follow-up, uh, does the president uh, support uh, Director Comey then a quick follow-up? Just to follow up on the follow-up. All right, there was information out, Larry, that the president, Jared Kushner, as I said, Jeff Sessions earlier in the year, that they were their conversations were incidentally picked up when others were being targeted in surveillance. Now, if the media took this seriously, Larry, could it have uncovered potential worse wiretapping going on by the Obama administration against Trump and his team. Yes, well, they, they obviously did, Liz, and now it's coming out. But what's also troubling, and we brought a new lawsuit, is that when we got that decision a few years ago that this kind of conduct should stop, that gave rise to the USA Freedom Act, which was supposed to stop it. But the intelligence agencies are violating the law yet again and the law of the case in the lawsuits that we brought. So I brought a new case recently, and we've talked about this before, too, for our whistleblower, Dennis Montgomery, who revealed this wide, massive surveillance against President Trump, Supreme Court justices, 156 judges, yours truly, anybody that challenged the government years ago. This has been going on for a long time. And it wasn't just Obama yeah. who did it, but Obama did it in a much bigger way. And someone needs to be held accountable, and our attorney general basically has to pull his head out of the sand and take some action here. Yeah, this is a constitutional crisis. It sounds like that. Larry, we are so grateful you came on the show. Come back soon. We love having you on.